What's up, people? Welcome back to another episode of Persona 3 Reload. Uh, it's pretty late right now. The dark hour is creeping up, but you know what? We're going to keep it rolling. I told myself, I am streaming tonight. I don't care how late it is. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, please be sure to subscribe. We're trying to hit so many subscribers out here. Um, yeah, so last time we were facing some bad SMTBS fighting the Lover's Arcana boss. And that was... Um, that was just crazy. Um... Check my social link. So, right now, what we need to do. We could level up the gore making. Um. Yeah, um, Good day. we just got Here some request. new requests from Elizabeth. Oh yeah, I already checked these out. Bring something from the ocean. Do you see anything achievable? Um, this will probably get in Tartarus. Some of these, some of the stuff, we'll have to just get in time. This I can get from GigaCon, that I can get from pretty quickly. This is gonna take time. Very well then. So I need to go back to. I need to go to Poor Island Station. Cafe there. Weak cat. Me. Maybe it's hungry. But I don't have anything can eat. Maybe I can buy cat food somewhere. Where would I buy cat food? Is the question. Cat food. I need to get something from. I need to get something from here. That's probably not what she's looking for, but you know. Boat cover, huh? Um, hear music. Get that though. I 
Maybe I'm not able to um, do it yet. Maybe I need to wait for something to unlock. It's probably what that is. Anyway. I need to decide what I'm gonna do. Um, I also need to get... I say I need to get cat food from somewhere. I don't know where I can get cat food. Where can I get Taiyaki? Ramen. Beef bowl. Thank you. Might as well get that right. Social link was what Arcana was the old couple. Hierophant, so I need a Hierophant. And I don't have any of that right now. Yeah, I'm just gonna spend time with them. Even though I don't have the persona for it. I can fill my bomb with the two of them. There's plenty of time until the next full moon. Well, I wish I could tell you to take it slow, but I don't start next week, so I'd like you to care for your health and concentrate on your studies. That's true. Hey. Bruh. Yeah, we're going to participate in the study group, because why not? Got uh, by Mitsuru, as you can see. I'm not worried about Akihiko's grades. I'm more worried he'll run off and do some reckless training. And studying has had the odd benefit of preventing that possibility. So here we are, even though I'm mostly done studying for the exams. I want him to overlo overlook Woods' studies. That is, if he's able to join us. I see. 
All right, sit down. I'll be your study coach. I was hoping to go for another run after rehydrating. <laughs> I wonder. <laughs> that was so funny. The last time you're here, he was training doing squats in his chair. That is. That is OD, bro. <laughs> I believe you've done enough physical activity for one day. Any more, and you'll hurt yourself. Fine. So, mm. were there any subjects you needed help with? Um, remembering kanji. Uh, the most basic method is writing them over and over again. But I get that's a tough way to stay motivated. That's why I reward myself with workout reps based on the number of new kanji I've learned. Ah, uh, oh my gosh. Study the stronger you'll get. Pretty motivating, huh? I guess. <laughs> I advise having a good workout ready to treat yourself with after a study session. It all comes down to making it a regular habit. Just a little each day really adds up. Mm. I wasn't going to say anything, but Akihiko, working out isn't normally a reward for most people. I mean, if you put it in place of a reward, it can help. I know for me, I need to work out every day, almost every day. On top of that, what good does it do to preach bit. about long-term habits mere days before the exam? Mm. I guess you have a point. In that case, how would you recommend cramming for it? It's not my usual style, but I would focus on memorizing material that is likely to be tested. If you give it your all, it shouldn't be too difficult. Easier than facing the enemy wholly unprepared, at least. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, we can talk all night, but doing is where the magic happens. Here. Let me give you some practice problems. The two of them continue giving me rigorous advice. Oh yeah. I'm smart. I'm smart. Smooth and tough. I'm glad that they, they only give you three stats. You immediately took what you learned and put it into practice. Instead of like five. <sighs> Little Kanachi Persona 5. All you need now is some strength training and you'll be unstoppable. Once the exams are over, why don't we dive into Tartarus for a bit and get some workouts in? Workouts, huh? Never change. In Tartarus. I'll need to continue keeping an eye on you to make sure you don't overdo it. You know, facing that Reaper would be a, a workout. If you want a real workout, buddy, go face the Reaper solo. <laughs> the more you study and the more you train, the better results you'll get. I look forward to seeing what you'll accomplish from here on. Let's call it here for today. I want to get some stretches in before heading to bed. Mm. Stretches before bed. Does that actually help? Let's get on with today's lesson. Silence. Class is beginning. Yuri, all What the heck? Just a quick preface. When I use the word magic, I mean it in a very general sense. Anyway, today's topic is the magic of medieval Europe. I'll be giving a crash course on the single most important, single most magical place in time in recorded history. <sighs> so, while there are a lot of materials pertaining to Western magic from printed books to Khmer folklore, I'll cover all of it, including the changes in European magic since then. As I mentioned previously, European magic finds over in paganism, starting with Christianity, though, it has been influenced by an influx of various cultures. Interesting. Let's see, what are some well-known... Oh yeah, that's 
terrible because she only got in the mix. Um, uh, let's see, what are some well-known examples? There's the Kabbalah, which is the esoteric study of mystical aspects of Jewish texts. Um, that is very interesting indeed. Um, there's also Gnosticism, a Christian sect for, for, founded by Simon Magus, the sorcerer. Uh, that is very, very true. Uh, Greece philosophy and natural sciences were the fruits of magical resources. Researchers. And the same is true of Islam scientific advances, which surpassed Europe's at the time. Uh, that is also very true. Now, as for the circumstances of magic in this age, it was an era where the rule of Christianity and the insight of the natural sciences collided. Magicians bravely. Why is it called it magic? Bruh, you might as well just. You know what? Never mind. Magicians bravely reached up for connection with the gods. Say, are you still awake? You're not daydreaming, right? How about a test to see if you're paying attention? You'll know what type of guardian angel you have depending on how you answer. I choose thee, Woods. What is the esoteric study of the Jewish text calls? Okay, that is very, very easy. I am very much interested in spirituality, religious history, and all that stuff. So, I know this. I mean, he, he basically already said the answer, too. Um, very good. Thank your, thank your guardian angel, because they must be kind. Or I could just thank my brain. <laughs> um... You know, or the creator of my brain. Uh, the magicians of the age achieved great things, particularly the renowned grimoires. A grimoire is a collection of magical texts, usually in, as an all encompassing as possible, wherein. Hmm. Smooth. Alright, let's see what we can do. Now... I probably won't stay too long on here, so we can spend time with Sunitsu. I wonder where we can buy cat food, though. There's gotta be some place. Music places where we get the CD. Oh, uh, yeah. Which ones? Oh yeah, I'm gonna need that. Oh yeah. You got some good stuff. So we got the cat food. Yeah, let's go feed that cat. Super cat food. Maybe the cat will feel better if I come back and eat it to feed it tomorrow. Listen. 
Perfect timing. Yeah, why not? Might as well use this time. You're not going to eat that? You mind if I have it? It's almost dark. Hey, are you free tonight? With exams coming up, I thought we'd... Maybe we second year's good old study session. Pass. I'm heading to my room. Dang! <laughs> He's like, dude, I'm out. Peace. <laughs> huh? Wait, Junpei? Well, it's his loss. You and me and Fuka can still study together. Dang. Same old Masu. Um, a Christmas star? That's the ornament on top of the tree, though, right? Why do you need one of those? Oh, if I'm right, it might not refer to an ornament at all. There's a type of plant that sometimes called the Christmas star. Could you wait a few minutes? I'll go double check. Oh, well, food. I mean, I wasn't trying to get that, but okay. Poinsettia. Sorry for the wait. Here you go. I think what you're looking for is a poinsettia. This flower is usually sold during Christmas time, so it'd be hard to find it in stores now. Fortunately, I had some in my room. Here you go. Thank you very much. It's almost time for exams. Have you been studying? We we're just about to start studying together. Do you want to join us? That's okay with you, right, Fuka? Yeah, why not? Fuka, your notes look so trendy. I kind of wasn't expecting that. These um, study sessions are pretty entertaining, so I don't mind uh, join, you know, doing that. Oh no, these are Natsuki chan's notes. She let me borrow them since I was out trapped in Tartarus. Hmm. What a good friend. Quite a bit missing from these notes. Hmm. Oh, you're right. This part just has the equation and no answer, and this page is full of doodles. And this part, uh, is that a drool stain? Hmm. Hey, it may not be the best study material, but it's the thought that counts, right? Dang, she's saying, wow, you got so bored. You slept on it. <laughs> mm -hmm. I've been trying to think of a way to return the favor. Hmm. Complete her notes, fill in the blank. Huh? Oh! Are you saying I should fill in any part she missed in her notes before giving them back? That's probably what I would do. That sounds like a great idea! But it's going to be a lot of material. I wonder if I can finish it all. Hmm. Then we'll help you out. It'll be a good review for us, too. <sighs> Thanks, you two. Here, let me see those notes. Oh. Yeah. You began to fill in Nonsky's notes. We nearly rewrote the entire thing. It really did make for a good re review. Boost no smarts. All done. It looks wonderful. <laughs> Natsuki chan's in for a real surprise when she sees this. Mm. I'm sure she will. I couldn't have done it without your help. Thanks, you two. 
Hey, no problem. That's what friends are for. Anything for you, Fuka. Of course, Fuka. Hey. This dude, man. I thought he was beefing with me. He just came up to me and straight and said, Hey, um, so exams are coming up pretty soon. Have you been studying? Yeah. Oh, yeah? Well, not that it's any of my business. Dang, let's got you down in the dumps. Here we go, finally reached the Tiara no Masakado. Here's the turning point of the era of the samurai. It all began with infighting among the Tiara clan. Their conflict escalated until the Imperial Court had to intervene. Masakado was pursued by the Imperial Court, so he had no choice but to openly oppose them. The result was known as the War of Masakado. Woods, you may not look like a samurai, but let's see if you know this one anyway. Oh boy, let's see if we have to soft reset. There's a theory that Tiara Mono Masakado thought of the prototype for an item essential to battle. Now, what do you think that item was? It's something very similar, it's something every samurai needs. A katana? Yes, exactly. Knew that already, huh? Yep, it's the katana. That was the obvious one out of the thing, <laughs> out of the choices. Think of samurai and their swords are the first thing that come to mind. Although it's not known whether Masakata really came up with them. This is going to be on the exam. Let's skip a little bit forward to the Kamakura era. Ah, oh, at last. I can feel them on their way. The samurai are almost here. In 1185, the Kagura. Shogunate was established. The Kamakura Shogunate was established. And of course, its founder was Minamoto no Yoritomo. I can't believe we finally made it. Oh yeah, give me that charm. Give me that charm. Hmm. It's a message from Sonata. Letting you know first, Ikutsuki-san is coming tonight. Sounds like he has something to tell us. We'll meet on the fourth floor once we're all back. Okay. Looks like we can spend time with Maika. But first, you know, we gotta feed this cat. Oh, I gotta get some cat food. Gotta get some cat food. We're having one big sale today. Which ones? You, hey, you got everything you need? Come again, yeah? Oh yeah. Let's feed him again. Cast purring loudly. Seems it's more energetic. We need to come back and feed it tomorrow. I'm curious to know the results of her running away.
Dang, I wonder who she's staying with. Alright, ladies and gents. I'm at, I think I've reached my limit for tonight. Yeah, I knew I was only going to be able to play for a while, so... Yeah. Anyway, if you've enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think of the game in those comments. Hit that bell, and I will see y'all next time. For more Shadow Goodness versus Persona.